Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's arena time. All right, well, we suffered our first loss there. I'm not sure if my screwing up, like, wasted a bunch of momentum I could have had, or if I was going to be screwed up anyway. I think there were, a, there were a bunch of turns when I had, like, the wrong amount of mana. So I think if I'd played that wild growth, I would have been in a better position. I think I might have still lost, because that he was just whipping out strong things, and I was not keeping up. And I probably spent too many swipes killing too few enemies. I think I definitely miscalculated the healing totems once or twice, although I think at that I think once he had healing totems, it was too late for me. I must protect no one. One of these cards is not starting hand material. One of these cards just doesn't belong. Ooh, we got all the ramp. All of it. Let's hope he's not super aggressive. I have like no cards left to, to spend on this stuff, but we are definitely going to. Wild growth into greedy sprite. That seems like a plan. I can't say definitely the greedy sprite. My opponent might play something that causes me to be like, oh my god, I have to blow that up and play a crappy one one or a crappy one mana guy. Uh, I can't blow that up, so. Greedy sprite, totally, totally viable against that. He'd be happy to trade with that and give me mana. So, empty mana or something, yeah. Okay, not as happy to trade with that. That's inconvenient. Truly, truly inconvenient. Um, but I could play this with Rush, kill that, it survives, trade it. Yeah, okay. Sold. Mana Crystal. Taunt. Don't want something untoward happening to my 4-1. Well, that's an excellent solution, but I suppose I'm also two mana ahead. And I got all seven drops. I literally can't do anything any good at all with all this mana. Craziness. The fact that I did nothing with that turn is going to counterbalance a lot the fact that I'm going to put out something bigger next turn. That's, that's really annoying. Okay. He's deciding whether it's worth wasting his sword killing my taunt there, and it's not. He wants to save that death rattle. It's okay. Uh, Divine Shield not as good uh, as it often is when he's got that thing out there. Oh, let's just take all the health. I'm down with that. I don't know if he's got a way to buff that dragon egg, but if I can't kill it in one shot, it doesn't seem all that worthwhile. For all we know, he has stuff based on his armor. Oh, is he going to execute my super dragon? Super dinosaur? Yes, he is. He's probably a dragon. I know it's not a dragon, but I want to say it because it looks like it. That's a dragon. It's everything. Alright, let's... Uh, let's we're going to kill that thing with this. May not be the best use, but we're getting it out there so we can do that. Excuse me. I don't know if leaving that egg alive is a dumb move, but... We'll find it. That might kung fu it or something. We'll see. Okay, that's annoying. Um, that's going to be small and crappy. It's going to be small and crappy no matter when I play it. I should probably get this guy out. Even though he's going to start tearing up my own dudes. That for one, two, three, and then he'll finish it. Mm. So, let's, let's do that. Fight. There you 
guess I could have kung fu'd it. No, I couldn't. I wouldn't have had the mana. Hi. I hate damaged minions. So he gets a dragon card in his hand. Hopefully, it's a shitty one. There are some. A pair of two six six. That was from a Stonehill Defender. That's not the one I gave him for free by killing it. Uh, he would. It's not I gave him anyway. He's gonna get one from the egg anyhow. That's what I'm talking about. So that's unpleasant because it means. Yeah, kill those guys. So I just hit that for that, and then my guy will kill it at the end of the turn. In the meantime, this this guy's gonna do nothing. Let's just spider. Yeah, my guy's not doing too damn. He's not Ragnaros. He's not gonna kill the spiders. He only kills things that are damaged. And it's at the end of my turn, so I have pretty good control over it. Warpath. Oh, he's got that. Boo. And he's got enough mana to kill my guy too. Ah, oh, damn, damn it. Warpath is also very good. It's it's expensive. It doesn't impress me as much as the uh, as the Paladin like Echo, but. Still pretty strong. Meanwhile, I've got crap all. I guess we're going to play this piece of crap. Because I can save him my hand forever and he'll never accomplish anything. At least this way, he might give me board control. I don't know. That Warpath is super good arena card, though. Probably pretty good and constructed. Also, if you had spell damage, it'd do weak. But, like, why do you need it? And also, it'll probably kill your spell damage guy. That's bad news. Again, I'm out of cards. He's getting all this card advantage, so I'm going to get crushed. Ah. Yeah. All the ramp not paying off. Except maybe. Let's kill that guy. So you can't just easily, cheaply get rid of my 4-2. Okay, well. This is going to be it. Either he's going to survive long enough to do some serious damage, or it's game over. It would not take much for me to completely lose this game. I am on the ropes, even though I have a 12-12 untargetable minion. Uh, I'm getting concerned. Oh, okay. That's not good, but it's not the worst. Uh, Swamp Dragon A gave you that, which is not an amazing dragon, considering how late in the game it was. But it's got no drawback. Who cares if you give me coins? What am I going to do with coins? Unless I get a Nourish to draw cards. Nourish would be really good. Drawing drawing three cards would be excellent. Especially if I might have coins coming. Yeah, I'm going to get crushed, though. His two bigger dudes can already kill Dino Boy. So I need Nourish and or Big Taunt is what I need. That is none of those things. No, I'm, I'm going to get my ass kicked. I'm just going to play this guy anyway, because I don't see saving him in, as being more beneficial. My hope is that he has to use his two big guys to kill the dinosaur, thus freeing up the board a little bit. But I'm still... I don't see my prospects as good. Oh, that's terrible. Wait, wait, are you leaving Dino Boy alive? Okay, that seems like a mistake, because I can tell him to take four damage, like, that's not the end of the world, oddly. I mean, maybe you're going to kill me soon. Nourish for cards! Make sure I choose the right option. Okay, next turn. Make sure that'd be fine. Stonehill! Excellent! Bad, bad. Everyone, all, all of you are terrible. I'm wondering if I should just take this guy, because I can play him along with that. I mean, this guy would re maybe pull out a couple of guys from my deck, but I don't see that as that beneficial. This guy's slightly bigger. No, I'm going to take this piece of crap. Under the circumstances, still the better move. Um, if I can keep Dino Boy alive... Actually, I should play that now. I was going to Kung Fu, but screw that. If I can keep Dino, Dino Boy alive... To hit him in the face, that could be gamifying. Yeah, that is not that is not what that word means at all. <laughs> He's got an interesting choice now. What the hell? 
Oh, God damn that Moss Destroyer every time! What is going on? You, you should finish that with your axe. That's what you should do. No? Okay. On the other hand, with his coins, I can play with these guys if that's what it calls for. Frick that. This guy is screwing me, though. Holy crap. He is not my friend. Not gonna have any elementals to do with I could kung fu something, but I'd rather just get out more stuff. I don't think killing the angry chicken is necessary. Is that angry chicken actually like created by Ravencaller? Okay, he didn't he didn't intentionally choose the angry chicken. Just wondering. Ah, oh, he's gonna get a million armor. God damn it! Stop trying to live. What is Camellios? Is an ogre magi? Okay. Do worse. Camellios is like uh, the shifter guy, but every turn he turns into a copy of one of the cards in your opponent's hand, which is super intelligence gathering as craziness. Like, you just find out all the cards in your opponent's hand over several turns. Okay, at least he didn't get to discover. I'm s I am back in super trouble. That would help. Uh, if I heal that, then his guy's even damage totals actually work out better against my... But if, if I don't, he's probably going to do it anyway. It's just, if I hit him for 7, then he's got... Then 8's not going to kill him, though. And he's going to keep getting armor. Now, i got to get rid of that thing. It's just gaining him too much health. Uh, still take him two guys to kill one of mine. If he kills Dr. Morgan there. Is he a deranged doctor? Yeah, whatever. If he kills Mr. Hyde, I get all the speed level. Um, you're still hitting me in the face. I'm a little concerned. So I can only hit him for 15, 16, 17. He has 22. It's not going to work. So i got to kill all his dudes, pretty much. And I'm taking a beating. He might just have a card to finish me. It's very plausible. I can't get him dead, so I can't get the health out of him either. Well, we're just gonna we're gonna kill these guys. I'm gonna buff him so he can't be killed by Stay Puff, and I'm gonna armor up and hope I can't be killed by those guys. But I've only got ten health. And he's got four attack, so he only needs to do six damage. If he has a big weapon, he could have the stupid four cost thing as like four damage or six if you're injured. Like, although you gotta be twelve or less, eh, for that one. But yeah, any weapon. Oh, he doesn't have it. He does not have lethal, but he's still alive. Because I I have 20 damage and he has 23 hit points. Okay, I have 21 damage. Now I have too much damage. Okay. That that went back and forth a little bit. Nourish though, like drawing three cards, pretty strong. What the? That mossy horror is not my friend though. Holy crap. Okay, so we're three wins. Definitely want to get to four. And then we want to get to more. I have a lot of swipes. I have so many swipes. And weirdly, like, spell damage. Uh, it's only, there's only two spell damage guys, and they're expensive. Right, so. Working Abomination is pretty good, even though it didn't work out perfectly for me that game. We're in, we're going to keep a swipe. We're not going to keep those expensive ones, especially if we got a swipe. We have swipe and spell damage. Will it work out that way? Who knows. Now, I've got a pretty good curve going here. The question is, is, is there, would I want to coin him out and then play him? He can be a 2-4 taunt. I know I've used him as, like, charge every time to kill minions. But he can be a 2-4 taunt. I did that one. I, I'm very fond of Voodoo to the side.
Excuse me. played. Which I'm pretty sure it never puts against the same person twice, but it could under certain situations. I'm not coining out this guy, because then I'll have I'll have no good play for the following turn. So I might as well save that coin when it'll be, be more valuable than just getting out a croc early. Even if my croc happens to be a crab. Who knows? And warriors have some pirates. Maybe he'll play a pirate. Crabbing as pirate would be cheesy bullshit to the max, but, uh, work out okay. Alright. So I could play him, I could coin out a 2-4 talent. We're going to save that coin. That coin could be more valuable later. The thing about the fairy dragon is he can't buff it. Okay. Now, do I swipe that with a coin, or do I use Druid of the Scythe to kill it? I think I'm going to save my Druid of the, my my side, my swipe. Can see it since I have two of these guys now. It was a harder choice when I only had one. There's no question of leaving the Berserker alive if I have a way to kill him, though, because bad, bad news. Yeti, that's really bad for my Ogre Magi. Battle of like classic card, classic set cards does not work out for me. Whoa, this guy sucks. A bit two four taunt, it's nothing. I mean, I could charge him and then coin kung fu and kill that, and then I'm still spending a card and not getting anywhere. Although I have a lot more, like I have more cards in my hand, and they're big cards for the most part. I'd like to get him out without him being dead. Or turn 8, I could do these together, but I'm probably going to have to swipe before then. I, with these big guys in my hand, neutralizing the board seems like a pretty good plan. Also, anything I play that doesn't neutralize the board, the Yeti's just going to kill. His choice is either like, go to great lengths to kill the Yeti, or just play this in Kung Fu, which is a sad turn. Doesn't help me. So yeah, I guess we're going to do this again, and we're going to spend that coin finally. Just a kung fu. I mean, I guess I also could have left him alive at one health and then killed him with the swipe next turn, but that's that's risky. And I don't know if I'm gonna want to swipe next turn. Maybe I'll draw something I want to cast. Maybe he won't play good swipeable minions. Ow. That's unpleasant, and also can kill this over guy. So he's never gonna get a chance. Oh, uh, that's not great. The light me. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna. Again, I don't have ways to buff the spellstone, so we're just gonna blow him up. That was a sad turn, and now he's got as many cards as I do. I'm hoping that mine are bigger, but I can't cast them yet either. So no, this is this is not going well. I've taken ten damage, accomplished nothing. It looked really good at some point. I was trying to not count the coin as a card, but it's still sitting there in the perception of more cards than I had. I the you had to play that with nothing, so that's better than it could have been. You know what? I am willing to play that and have him trade with that thing, because yours was more expensive and can do more damage. If you leave the ogre alive, then I can swipe for more and whatever. If you don't, a price on your head. that's weird. He's a five-eight charge that gives the opponent two, two ones. Pretty annoying. Does he have like a core path? Yeah, that sucks. Sucks so much. I can still kill those guys with the swipe and with my two-two, but it's that was very unpleasant. I don't have any 7-cost stuff, so I guess that's what we're doing. Slug to try and preempt. The problem with the slug is, it has taunts, so it works right away, you kind of want to play it when there's stuff. But if you play it in advance, then when your if your opponent plays something big, you can just kill it. 
Unfortunately, that would be a like, kind of ugly trade. But this guy can't attack me because the slug would kill it and survive. I could just generate more stuff. But okay, let's do this. That's fine. Can't use the slug for the intended purpose of killing the next thing he puts out. Put out, but now I could because he could kill the tar elemental, and then the slug could kill whatever big thing came out. This game got really weird. Ah, we're both playing the same obnoxious like weird games. Oh no, that's terrible. Cleave bad. Now you're gonna be able to kill my guy, and it's against this too. What bullshit? Well, I could use the health from him anyway. The Witch Guardian. It, it might protect my guy from the wasp, so we're gonna try. It's kinda sad though. This is this is messed up. Although at least if he doesn't get silenced or something, Death Rattle Doctor guy will give me a pile of health. I need to get rid of his wasp somehow, which Basically, I have no control of, unless it draws. Oh, god damn it! Everything is annoying! But at least that's out of the way now. So I've got all the health. I've got a nourish for next turn. Let's play Gigantor. You can't just execute him. And your minions are not up to the task. And again, that eight health. So okay, this is worth a shot. I don't. I don't know what that. That's a stupid thing to say. I'm making the obvious decisions. I'm not like. It's not like a gamble. I think what I mean to say is things are looking like I have a shot. Asian has stabilized and is very interesting. Ogre Magi. Okay, we're gonna first thing you do is draw the three cards and see how that affects the climate. It might just be web spinnering. I don't know. Okay, those are good guys for later. Um, that's pretty aggressive, but no, I should really save that. I wish I could kung fu the two one and not like have to spend my whole turn doing it because I got all this other stuff I could be like summon two poisonous spiders would be nice. I'm just going to do this. One, at least one of them is going to get totally wasted, and even killing a 3-5 is not a great accomplishment for one of those spiders, but this, I think, gives my opponent the most trouble, and it uses my mana efficiently. Next turn I could drop two 4-4s four in Kung Fu. This, these, these spiders have to be dealt with. He can't leave them alive and just like play other stuff, because... One of the spiders that survives will kill something way, way better. So, this is posing a problem to him. He can't... It prevents him from adding up his guy's damage to try and take down Dino Boy. What the hell is his name again? Tyrantus. Yeah, whatever. Dino Boy. Darth Tyrantus. What now? Which got... Oh, this game, this game got very interesting. <laughs> Blood Razor, okay. That is a concern, but you can't execute Dino Boy. You are getting rid of the spiders because you don't like spiders. Really? So, I mean, next time you attack with the sword, it would kill the spider, but that's not really what you need. Okay. Um. Yeah, I mean, I could play him and he'd be bigger, but no, we're just going to go romp. Uh, I will get rid of that, because he's going to die super easily, no matter what I do. You can use that execute he's been saving for this guy, but I've got more coming. Also, if he doesn't know this guy's out, he might damage a bunch of his own guys with the sword. You know, like, he might play guys first and then attack intentionally, because he might get advantages from damaging his own guys. And then this guy would come out and, like, screw him up. Oh, he's not going to screw that up. That's terrifying. He's only a 4-6, but every time he takes damage from anything, he just spawns a random legendary in play. Nuts. Come on. Your other minions have Rush. That's terrifying, but he has no mana left. So, game over, I win. That's excellent.
Okay. Man, I I thought I was screwed. I thought I was winning, and then I thought I was screwed, and then we came back and won. So everything's okay. We got our four wins. Now we got now we got to really see if we this deck is as good as I'm hoping it is. Yes. Less than four wins would have been a disappointment. I'm hesitant to say this deck was worth five wins in like in the predictive mode, even though I was certainly hoping for five or six wins and maybe more next time. If you like this, please click the eponymous button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.